So I made a video about the Kentucky Sheriff shooting the judge. And uh, I never said that that was the case of why he did it. It was speculation and rumor that the reason why he shot the sheriff was because it was believed that the sheriff had been messing with his daughter. And a lot of people had agreed with me simply because it would have to be something that strong for a man to walk into a room and take the life of another man. But there's been a few of you that have had something to say. And what the few of you did is you never watched the video. You jumped the conclusion. That's what I said. No, I said it was speculation. And if that was the case, that he did the right thing in the sentence, right? But it has recently come out from people that are in to know that that's maybe 99% sure not true. And that it may stem from a mental health issue because whenever they booked the sheriff in, uh, it is noted that he was not acting as himself. And he had lost a lot of weight recently. And they believe that's due to a health issue and not drugs. And so I want to clear that up real quick. Uh, but there's also a lot that is unfolding into this story. You can Google Ben Fields out of Letcher, Kentucky, the same county court where this shooting went on. And you will find that he was the bailiff. See, the sheriff used to be the bailiff. And then he got elected sheriff and this Mr. Fields took his position. And Mr. Fields uh, was over the ankle monitoring program and uh, other court-related deals like that. And he was convicted of sex crimes. I don't know if it was rape or if it was something of that matter, but it was hyenas crimes. And uh, I believe he was sentenced to a year in jail uh, and along with six months probation. And the person that spoke to me on this said they found it very, very odd because the majority of times that cases like this happen, there's a sprawling amount of time. You know, there's a year to two years of court investigation, you know, the omnibus process, all these arraignments and everything. And in this case, in this scenario, it was almost, it stuck out like a sore thumb because it was done and convicted in a very short time. And you can check that out as well. But what was brought up in the conversation was that these two girls that he was convicted, Mr. Fields, of harming and hurting and sexually assaulting and using his abuse of power, uh, one of them had passed, right? And the girl's family has now taken up the civil case. And both women, both of the civil cases are coming up as right in this current time. And there's been some speculation that may be possibly, and it is a speculation, that this judge, who was also speculatively a, a thought to be a ladies' man, might have been leaning towards uh, some type of negative, uh, you know, occurrence with the sheriff based on these civil cases, because uh, the the sheriff was going to have to give a statement, right? And he was the actual sheriff when this, this this crime was committed inside this courthouse against these two women who were in a position uh, uh, they were being, they were, you know, they were, I don't know if they were convicts or if they were just serving a probation sentence, but they were, you know, in a position. <clears throat> and, uh, and so that is thought to be a larger part of it that uh, the health issue uh, that has seemed to plague him. And of course I asked them, do you think it was drugs? And they said, no, it's not drugs. And so we're, as the story unfolds, I want to go back to what I was saying. I never said that was the case. I just said that was what the rumor was, right? That was speculative. And if it was true, right? And so all you people that jumped on my throat, you know, once again, keyboard warriors, man, you know, it never happens in person. Never. It's crazy. But, you know, if that's okay, I forgive you, right? And, uh, and so that's where it's going. 
right? And that community in Kentucky, I get some hate mail from y'all. And if you're one of them, hey, man, I guess you need to move, right? I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. But they do have a lot going on there. And a lot of people are hurt. And, you know, let's not for, let's not forget that the young lady uh, that her dad is the sheriff now will never be able to go to school or nothing there because of what has happened, you know. Uh, and there's people that, you know, are going to be affected by what happened despite whatever the real reason. And, and it was made very clear to me that, uh, oh, and when that had happened with the two girls, there was no cameras in the courthouse. And that was the reason why there was cameras put in the courthouse, right? But it was made very clear to me that they may never know what the reason was. That there was enough evidence to convict on murder. And that right there was enough to satisfy the prosecution and of or the state or the Commonwealth. And the reasoning really didn't matter. Right. But whatever it was, it was intense. All right, we're praying for that county in Kentucky, fluent English. I also like to add, I misquoted the sentence. It was quoted as me that Mr. Fields had gotten a year in prison and six years probation.